Uh, he is very smart and diligent, passionate, and nice interventional cardiologist, and uh, um, the, the wonderful guy and a friend of mine. Um, but I think uh, 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 most of the interventional cardiologists here in Korea have experienced the core valve, and uh, it looks like this. However, he, uh, he never experienced and, and, and this one, so I think it is not reasonable to compare both in this session. And uh, one idea about core valve is that core valve is easy to implant. Is it true? And the long skirt, this is core valve. Long skirt looks more loose blandly. So, and uh, beginners and some interventional guidelines think and the core valve is easy to be implanted. Um, but uh, the co if core valve is implanted very deeply and that the risk of a permanent pacemaker rate is high, so uh, by uh, three times, as you see, if the valve is, uh, is implanted lower, and permanent pacemaker risk is high. So if we put the device below eight millimeter and the percentage of permanent pacemaker risk is almost half of the old patient. So I think proper positioning is very important here, as you see, this is called the Sapien implantation, this is core valve implantation. Um, it just takes a couple of seconds, a couple of minutes, but it takes a long time. So we have to be patient for to see um, the full expansion of the core valve, right? It takes time. And uh, um, as you see in the core belt, <coughs> Sapien is, uh, is easy to uh, place coaxially. However, core coaxiality is not good and it is not very predictable and where is the positioning of the belt. So if you look at the randomized study choice trial which is presented in this year, 2014, and incorrect positioning. So, and almost 6% of patients uh, received another Valve because of the, the marrow position of the valve. So this is true. The core valve is not easy to implant well. This is important. And second one is core valve has better outcome. Is it true? And this is randomized study of Sapien and the core valve in the Sapien trials and the Sapien valve compared to surgical AVR. Sapien valve has similar mortality, but core valve improved uh, the mortality. So, so survival rate uh, was better after core valve implantation than surgical AVR for high risk patient. However, there is one randomized study. This is a single center experience, but I think we can get a lot of important information from the trial. And they randomized 200 uh, patients into a Sapien and the core belt. This is procedural result. We need more post balloon dilatation. Why? Because uh, as we mentioned before, and the core belt has a high risk of and LT degradation, so we need more um, post balloon dilatation and uh, uh, valve implantation, um, uh, the failure rate is high after core valve and sapien valve implantation. And as you see, such, and this is uh, the instance of aortic regurgitation and moderate or severe risk of uh, aortic regurgitation after core valve is 18 and only 4% after sapien valve. P value was statistically significant. And by echocardiography at discharge and the 30 days and the moderate or severe AR after core valve is almost 10%. Um, but after core as Sapien is only 2%. So this is 30-day clinical outcomes. Rehospitalization rate was higher, and the new permanence payments make rate was higher after core web than Sapien. So in all subgroups, the Sapien valve looks better than the core web implantation. And as you see, and uh, this is a cross-sectional view of the core Sapien and the core web. And uh, uh, Sapien valve uh, is, is to be implanted well, so it looks elliptical, but looks circular, but uh, after core valve imp implantation and uh, the morphology, cross-sectional view is not circular, so and the core valve is not easy to seal, completely seal the opening of the, uh, the uh, sign, so this probably would be um, a cause of higher uh, risk of aortic regurgitation. So there are three mechanisms of, uh, at AR after Tabular procedures and the core valve is, is to be implanted poorly. So um, this is one mechanism, and this is not elliptical after core valve implantation. So definitely, and the core valve has a high risk of AR. However, a Sapien valve is still improving. So probably, and with, uh, using Sapien valve, we can avoid and the problem related with AR. And also, uh, core valve has a higher risk of uh, and the component uh, pacemaker risk in this heat, and that the conduction pathway is running just below the left coronary cusp and right coronary cusp. And this is the morphology of a core valve, and uh, at the inflow portion of a core valve has very strong radial pulse. 
So this is expanding over time. So, um, and with the, 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 with time and the uh, core web is easy to destroy the conduction fibers. So core web has a, a high risk of permanent pain maker. The risk is almost a fourth of the old patient. However, the RPM belt is just less than 10%, approximately 5% after tablet procedures. This is a nice procedure, and AR looks negligible, very nice procedure. And the baseline post procedure day two, up to day two, uh, he was very stable, no symptom, so he was happy. However, at four, day four after implantation here, uh, the patient has just experienced that the sync up and the pulmonary pacemaker was implanted. If you look at the time span after a Hobe implantation, even after one, one week and uh, uh, almost uh, approximately 10 or 15 percent of patients receive the permanent pain pacemaker, this is a big headache. The patient cannot discharge very well. This is a pro uh, uh, practical, serious problem. So in um, my center, we, uh, we uh, recruited uh, some uh, the patient from Asian Pacific countries and the uh, Sapien and the core valves even distributed like this. Um, Euroscore and the state score was uh, of, uh, comparable to European or American experience, and uh, in our experience also, and the core valve has high risk of uh, aortic regurgitation, and at 30 days, aortic regurgitation rate was higher, and pulmonary maker was definitely higher, and also uh, device failure rate was higher after core valve implantation. Long-term outcomes, <coughs> however, looks comparable between Sapien and the core valve. Mortality comparable and hospitalization rate comparable up to two years. So this is truth. Core valve has a higher risk of AR and higher risk of permanent spay marker. However, the two valves have comparable mortality and a comparable stroke rate. And the RPM valve of stroke coronary artery valve, is it true? And this is the result of a systemic review um, meta-analysis data, and you see, and the, the risk of coronary obstruction is very, very low. I think it is too much emphasized by uh, the, the some investigators, and the, the risk is just 0.4%, uh, and the CPM is 0.4%, and the core is 0.2%, there's no difference. In our experience as well, only 1% of the core belt and only one, one pair of core belt has experienced coronary obstruction, so this is not a serious problem. So this is true. The instance of coronary obstruction is comparably low during both CPM and core belt implantation. Longevity, what about longevity? And the Sapien uh, the morphology system looks like a, uh, a surgical tissue paper. So we expect that the longevity of a Sapien paper could be comparable to a tissue paper. However, an <clears throat> and a core valve has uh, elliptical morphology, so pro probably flow turbulence would influence the, the poor longevity of the core valve. This is uh, not evidence, however, we have a hypothesis. Um, and the core valve has more damage by the post uh, valve implantation, probably, and more da damage was, uh, was, was made by the, the core valve implantation than the RPM bulb. So uh, there are some reports about very early degeneration of the core valve. So I think probably a RPM valve is better than core valve in terms of long term uh, longevity as well. So this is my conclusion. Please try both, and let's talk about it later. So I, I think Sapien Belt is better. Thank you very much. Thank you.